Hello everyone, welcome to the first shorty video. What are shorties about? I always pick one interesting board uh, which I played on Funbridge and I want to share with you what actually can happen or what you can do to gain as much imps or match points as possible. This board comes from uh, the team's tournament so we play imps. Everybody is vulnerable and the bidding comes to us in three spades. We have an unbalanced hand with 7-4 on red suits. So the question is, what do you do? 12 high card points, but an unbalanced hand. And this is very key to determine like what level you are thinking as. So I will try to determine three different levels. Well, maybe four that uh, a beginner level, a club level. So let's say advanced uh, and then a national level. So let's say expert then we might have some bonus rounds which are probably some kind of the uh, fun boards uh, but on this one if you are a beginner then you might count like 12 points i have diamonds um but it's already fourth level i'm pretty sure that some people on that level will probably pass because they will feel they are not strong enough but starting from club level, when you have experience already with bidding, then um, you know that this shape of 7-4 just gives you a little bit extra. So then you want to bid and one of the biddings might be the 4 diamond bid because you have 7 diamonds. Another option which um, some of you might actually choose is double because you have 4 hearts and if partner bids clubs you can bid diamonds in the second round so if you double partner bids four clubs um, then you can bid four diamonds and give partner a chance to have diamonds and hearts but once again this has to be agreed uh, then there is one more option and that i think comes more from a perspective of a national player because obviously if opponents bid one spade past three spades, it's very important to say that um, here on Funbridge that would be invitation level. Uh, on a national level, this will be more to be a mixed race. So usually one honor with a four card fit and some shape. Anyway, you are expecting opponents to bid to four spades anyways. So if you bid four diamonds and opponents bid four spades, then um, you somehow have to bid five diamonds um, again. And why do you want to bid five diamonds? Because you count, first of all, with goulash hand, 11 cards in two suits. You count your losers. So you are losing one spade, you are losing one club, you are missing the ace of diamonds. So hopefully if you lose the ace of diamonds and diamonds behave, you might have only one loser in diamonds and in hearts you have one potentially two losers so this hand is about four theoretical losers in practice like five if pardon doesn't bring us something the other thing what you need to be counting is how many defensive tricks you have so we have two most likely two defensive tricks in hearts and we cannot count the defensive trick in diamonds because we are expecting one of the defenders or one of the opponents will be short in diamonds so that means if we have four losers, we have nine tricks in our hand. If we have two defensive tricks, they can potentially make 11. If Pardon brings us one trick, one defensive, they are still making the game which scores vulnerable 620. And this is very important to realize the scoring system. Vulnerable game 620. If we bid and sacrifice on the fifth level and we get usually doubled when we are weaker or have less than um, like 20 high card points together with our partner, we get doubled and the first under trick is for 200 and the second under trick is for 500 being vulnerable. And the third one is 800. So if opponents have 620, going down once is profitable, very profitable in imps, going down twice is a little bit profitable and going down three times is a little bit um, bad, is a little bit losing. Still very good chance for B at the fifth level at any circumstance circumstance with such hand. So if we bid five diamonds, uh, expected double comes from west, pass, pass. You just pass out because you don't know what partner will bring and to your surprise, 
partner will actually bring you nuts. A four card fit, which means that you have zero defensive tricks for spades. Queen of spades might be a defensive trick if they are declaring four spades. Ace of clubs is golden, which covers your losers. And now jack 10 9 is absolutely amazing, especially since uh, opponents have let the suit. So you play the jack, you win, you try to draw the trumps, and that would be actually it. So if Trump splits 1-1, one, one, still they don't lose anything, they have one trick in diamonds, they cash the ace and for the rest it's gone. If they don't leave a heart, you still have enough entries and you will have to play the heart finesse and hoping it works. But if it doesn't, you go down one and four spades might be making, although you have a club rough and ace king in hearts. So if we claim here uh, for five diamonds making, see that the queen of hearts is behind. So they actually gave us the contract uh, with the hard lead. If they lead anything else uh, and wait for the hard trick, we are actually making. But see that spade queen can be finessed. We are losing, the opponents are losing two hearts, ace of clubs and a rough. So even four spades might go down. So now let's uh, have a look what were the scores and then we can replay a little bit what will happen if we double or if we bid four diamonds. So how about the scores? The scores are that five diamonds actually scores 13 imps here. Uh, there were around 500 uh, players playing this hand so 117 managed to be in five diamonds and quite a lot actually let opponents play in four spades and in this board it was a big mistake not many were actually beating uh, four spades more players were giving the contract away since north is on the lead and either north has to lead the heart and you have to switch to club or if he leads a diamond the game is over so let's try to replay to be fully understanding what's going on and what can happen. So the same bidding, the first option we might do four diamonds. Now opponents bid four spades, pass, pass. And now I would say a beginner, if they decide to bid four diamonds, they will not bid five diamonds. Club level most likely will also not bid five diamonds as well, since you didn't bid immediately. So you'll end up defending four spades. Now we have a look for the lead. And if that is a diamond, now they just draw the trumps. If they guess it right. And um, yeah, see that they guess it right. And you just make two hard tricks and one club so at the end just making partner plays a heart amazing so we can cash two and end up losing if we claim uh, we can just have a look what will be the score actually okay claim making And if we restart, so once again, claim making was minus 620, that would be minus 11 imps on this board. So let's restart once again. This time we try to double first what will happen. West is bidding four spades anyways, north is passing, and now once again, it's you who has to bid five diamonds. If you pass, then it might be a disaster. If you bid five diamonds, you still end up being quite good. But what will be the lead? Will they still lead a heart if you doubled first? And unfortunately for East West, that's still the truth. But I believe that after this bidding, uh, they should have led the Ace of Diamonds or the Ace of Spades, because with the double, you kind of promise hearts and now bidding the diamonds. It seems to be a two suitor. So that's how you can guys uh, bid properly on high level. Remember, count your theoretical losers and uh, then bid on a respective level.
hope that partners sometimes will cooperate with you. So I hope that you have enjoyed the first shorty and I'm looking forward to see you in the next one.